Figuring out network essentials can get overwhelming, so let's make it simple. Today, let's dive into the two ways you can establish VLAN. VLAN stands for Virtual Local Area Network. It's used whenever a person wants to have multiple different local area networks while having one physical device. There are two ways to create a VLAN. One way involves port-based VLAN, also known as access mode. The other, tag-based VLAN, also known as trunk mode. But let's begin with the first one. Port-based VLAN uses physical connectivity like Ethernet ports to determine which device will be assigned to which local area network. So let's say we have a router with four Ethernet ports, two of which are configured to perform as port-based VLANs. Both Ethernet ports are configured to have different VLAN networks, making one router have two non-related local area networks. Because these two Ethernet ports support different networks, devices connected to one of them are separated from different devices connected to the other. For this reason, end devices from different networks cannot reach and communicate with one another. The reason people want different local area networks on a single device can vary, though it's usually related to the privacy or security of internal data that gets to be shared within that one network. For example, imagine you have a two-story building. On one floor, you have your sales team, on the other, your support team. Both teams have their internal systems with private data that shouldn't be available to the other team. To avoid that, you can create two separate networks for both teams via Ethernet ports, making each team's data unreachable to the other. But there is another way to create two separate networks for both teams. This calls for tag-based VLAN. While port-based VLAN requires physical connectivity, tag-based VLAN doesn't. It relies on virtual IDs. So no matter how your end device is connected to your router, it will be assigned to a specific network depending on its ID setting. Creating a tag-based VLAN can be a more convenient option as it eliminates the cabling hassles and dependency on networking devices. Tag-based VLAN allows end devices to use more than one network ID. Though if you plan to do that, it's suggested to set priorities using metrics, since it will allow you to set which network will be primary, secondary, and so on. This is important as it helps you avoid IP conflicts. We hope this helped you better understand VLAN and ways to establish one. If you'd like to know more about Network Essentials, check out the other videos on our channel and don't forget to subscribe.